Welcome to a Lean Stacks instructional video. This video is part of the Angular Fundamentals series. In this video, we build upon the Angular demo application, creating the services module and defining a custom service to model and manage an entity with the ng resource module. Download the desired Angular JS release from angularjs.org and unpack the downloaded file. Move the minified Angular resource JavaScript file and optionally the map file to the project lib directory. I like to rename the JavaScript file to include the release version so that I can easily remember what version of dependencies I'm using in my application. Now, open the editor, navigate to the source main app directory, and open the index.html source file. Add the Angular resource script at the bottom of the page body. In the source main app coffee directory, create a new file named services.coffee. Within that file, first define a new module named my services using the Angular module definition function. Notice that our services module also declares a dependency upon the ng resource module, making its components available to be injected into the services declared in the scope of the my services module. We must make the application module aware of the new services module. Open the application.coffee source file and add the my services module to the array of dependencies to our main application module. Next, let's define a service that represents the greeting resource. Services are created using factory functions similar to a controller's constructor function. A factory function creates and returns an object or function. In this case, service factory functions return a service object. We're going to create a very common type of service in Angular applications, an entity resource service. This service models the attributes of the greeting entity and uses the Angular resource service to synchronize the entity state with a server using RESTful web services. Below the My Services module declaration, create the greeting service factory function. The resource service is a factory for resource objects. In our code, we invoke the resource factory function, passing it three parameters. The first parameter is the URL template for the RESTful web service family. Notice the template variable greeting ID, prefixed by a colon. The resource object will replace URL template variables with values from the entity model object or params hash. The second parameter is an empty object. This is the default param values. For example, if we wanted the greeting ID parameter to always have a default value, we would supply it here. The hash keys are parameter names, and the hash value is the default parameter value. 
The third resource service factory function parameter is an object that defines the custom actions available on the resource object. When the resource service factory function creates a resource object, it comes with five default actions named query, get, save, remove, and delete. These actions may be overridden or new actions created using the actions object parameter to the resource factory function. In our case, we are overriding the default behavior of the query action by supplying a value for the greeting ID parameter to be used when the query action function is invoked. This is only necessary because the demo project is using a non-standard RESTful URL pattern for the retrieval of greeting data. See the NG Resource Module Angular API documentation for the RESTful patterns employed by the built-in resource actions. Finally, let's replace the HTTP service in the greeting controller with the new greeting service. Open the controllers.coffee source file and find the greeting controller constructor function. Replace the HTTP service dependency with the greeting service. In the function body, replace the HTTP get function with the greeting query function. Notice that the actions we configured using the resource service factory function are created as functions on the resource object produced by the factory. We use the query function to place an HTTP GET request to retrieve the greetings.json file. While it's not illustrated in this code example, all resource action functions can accept success and error callback functions as parameters. In a later video in this series, we will add the ability to create new greetings, and at that time we'll demonstrate the use of these callback functions. Let's run the application to test these changes. Open a terminal window and change the directory to the project base directory. Type gulp space run to start the local web server on port 9000. Open a new browser tab and press the F12 key to open the developer tools. Select the network tab. Go to localhost 9000 slash index.html and press enter. The application renders the list of greetings just as it did at the conclusion of the last video in our series where we used the HTTP GET function. Now though we're using the greeting query function. Take a look at the network tab. Notice that the greetings.json file was loaded from our web server by the greeting service the same as it was using the HTTP service. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel and follow the Lean Stacks Google Plus page to receive updates as new videos are published. As always, you can find more information on leanstacks.com.